Hello and welcome to another video of Web3 PY Do It Yourself Tutorials. In this video, we are going to create a transaction or send a transaction with some ether from one account to another or one wallet to another. This is what we are going to be doing. So from cryptos and tokens on your NFTs, we are going to sending it to a different wallet using ether. I mean, we are going to send ether from an account ending or a wallet ending 3816 uh, from and this will be two three zero seven three ending in three zero seven three. We that should be recipient. So this is what we are going to be doing. We will create a transaction object, sign the transaction object, and send the transaction object. Those who are following my Web three JS tutorials as well as Solidity tutorials, you know that these are three things that you need to do to send a transaction: create, sign, and send. All right. Now, before we go there, what I have done is I have created um, I have created a file known as include constants. This include constants has my private key for the from account. Now, in the previous video where we got the balance from an account, for an account, we used infura URL, infura URL, and watch the previous video, you will understand. This is a constant. So what I did was created a file known as include constants.py. I created a file here, so right click, new file. So include constants.py and I created that in Colab. You can create this file anywhere. When you close this Colab, this file will be gone. So please make sure that you have this file somewhere in your My Drive. For that, there is a video link on Python tutorials uh, on Colab. You go watch that. Now, coming back to this one, it has a file include constants.py. You have a function get constants, and I have put infura URL, and I'm going to put this file on GitHub link as in the description section below. Uh, you have private key from account as well. So, you need to change this to put your private key in here. So change your infura URL, change the private key from account. Now, what I'm going to do before I close this is I'm going to copy, paste my private key account, save it, and delete it. I mean, close it. Next, I'm going to use this. Now, this is the very basics of Python. So if you're not familiar with Python, just go through this. I'll say import include constants, which is the name of the file, as INCL. I have put a handler. Next, because this is returning infura URL and private key from account, infura URL and private key from account, I'm saying include INCL include constants dot get constants is the function name. And just for the verification sake, I'm going to say print infura URL. So you got the infura URL from this account. Please note that this infura URL, I'm going to change it once I'm done uh, making these videos. Now let's do the send transaction, send ETH transaction. From Web3, import Web3. So we have installed, we've installed Web3 already uh, for this notebook. Next. I'm going to create an instance of Web3. So Web3, Web3.http provider infura URL. Remember, infura URL, we got this from the include constants file. Next, from account. So at this beginning of the video, we talked about the from account and to account. And where are these wallet accounts? Over here. In MetaMask, this is my two three zero seven three, and this is my from three eight one three six. So three eight one six, and I'm going to declare two account ending in three zero seven three. Next, I'm going to get nuns. So how to get the nuns is web three dot eth dot get transactions from account. So we get from account and get nuns. I've explained nuns in my previous set of videos. Please have a look. Next, I'm going to print 
the value of the nuns. Now let's create a transaction object. The transaction object is created, then we are gonna sign it and send it. So transaction object equal, it's a JSON. Nuns, we are gonna say web3.2 hex nuns. The reason we are doing two hex is because all of these values need to be in hex before we can submit the transaction. So whatever the nuns value we got, we are using that to convert that value to a hex. From account, we have already declared from account, which is already in hex. Hex starts with zero x. To account, and then I'm gonna send the value 0 0.01 ether to the to this account, ending in 3073. There is a gas fees. I am just setting the gas limit and gas price. I'm going to also set the gas and gas price. And this is the transaction object. So what I did, quick recap, I set few values like Infura URL and private key from account from this file. And then I also set from and to. Ideally, we could have also moved from and to accounts in the include constants, but we chose not to do it. And then we created this transaction object. And now I'm gonna sign the transaction. So we take this transaction object and we sign this with the private key. How to do that? Web3.eth.account dot sign transaction transaction object and private key so this private key would tell this function or method to sign the transaction using the from and the private key next we are going to send the transaction so how do you send this sign transaction is web 3eth dot dot send raw transaction. This is a method on web3 that sends the transaction. We'll use the signed transaction object dot raw transaction and print. So this is the transaction hash and I'm going to print this transaction hash and we will then go to the Gorley testnet and we will find out where this transaction has landed. So let me run this. I'll do a quick recap. We have this include constants file. In this file, we have these two parameters, infia URL and private key. And then I'm printing the infura, infura URL only. Here I'm importing web3. This is web3 HTTP provider using infia URL from account to account, created the transaction object, with the value to be passed, sign the transaction and sending the transaction over. Now let me run it. So you have now this transaction. Now let's go to the Gorley uh, test. Search for this transaction and you would see it's pending. So I'm gonna pause the video here and wait for this transaction to complete. Once the transaction is completed, you would see that uh, the 1.34 Gorley is, is gonna be reduced by 0.01, and this is gonna be increased by 0 0.014. So let, let me pause it here and wait for the transaction to finish. All right then. So the transaction has been completed successfully and uh, it took 20 seconds to complete. This is the transaction fee, uh, zero point, so many zeros, 21 ether. This is the gas price. So even though we specified in our code, 26,000 as the limit, but it only utilized 21,000. 21, that means 80% of what we specified. This was the gas, gas fees on Ingwe, and this was the burn fee. So 
Now let's look at the transactions in the wallet. Remember, before the transaction happened, it had 1.34 or something. Now it is reduced. You see the activity. Um, should have shown up in the activity here as well, but it's not. Okay. And next, uh, if you go to the account two, it's 0 0.15. And if you look at activity, it says receive from 3816, which was the account number one, 0 0.01 Gorley. So that is how you would uh, do a transaction coming in from one account to the other. And then if you look at uh, even these accounts from here, it will show you that three minutes ago, 0 0.01 Ether was transferred to this account. And if you look at this account, it will show you the same transaction, but in a different perspective, right? So transaction hash this deposited, it says in from, from 3816 deposited 0 0.01 Ether. And when you look at the other perspective, it says that this account was out. So from this account, 0 0.01 Ether plus the transactions fee, transaction fee was subtracted, removed, right? So this is how you would do. And the code is available for you in the GitHub link, which is in the description section below. Thank you for watching.